Uh, Shalom Rastafari. Here's a couple of key books that you really need to check out, right? One of them is the Ethiopian Tawahedo Church. This one especially by uh, Archbishop Yisahak, right? The late Archbishop, the one that Kadamal Hala Selassie sent to the West. Notice it says the Ethiopian Tawahedo Church. It doesn't really say Orthodox. A separation had to be made. But the careless are still going back to the vomit, that which we have chucked out. But we'll get into more details on that. But since this is the reason for the season, let's look right here. This is Helena. Right? This is Helena, right? um, the mother of Constantine. Constantine was one of the black um, uh, Roman emperors, the brethren of the Ethiopian. Now, how do we know this? Well, we know this chiefly from this document right here, the Queen of Sheba and only son Minulik. In the longer vid, we went through that. And here's some of the key reference you need to have. That the establishment of the religion or the faith of the Hebrews, as well as the throne of David, right, was in that country we know as Ethiopia. This explains some of those so-called cryptic verses in the scripture, right? And remember, Ethiopia is the empire. So there's many different tribes and nations. But this clearly demonstrates that in fulfillment of David's prophecy, it will be the Shemites, the Afro-Shemites, who would be the rulers of that. This is why Ethiopic is a um, Shemitic language. It's also the cookie-cutter key to uh, Biblical Hebrew, right? Anyway, let's go forward here. Now, this also is, very, is a very important document right here, right? And this is known as the Fitta Neges, the Law of Kings. Now, there's a connection of the Law of Kings, right, with uh, King, um, with Emperor uh, Constantine. Now, remember, we showed you his mother, right? Let's go over here. This is his mother right here, right? Let's show a coin, right? Let's show a coin right here. Let's, let's bring this up. Now, we went through a little more detail on it, right? That, that's him right there. This is, this is, what he really looked like, and this is the fake, right? This is the fake that Mussolini and his gang was palming off. This is why they attacked Ethiopia, right? This is the very reason, one of the many interconnected reasons because of the finding of the true cross, the true wood of the cross, right? And there's a, there's a whole mystery in that as well because, you know, the wood, let me, let me put this in here because, okay, here we go so I can get a charge, right? So this is Constantine. This is what Constantine really looked like. And this is the fake, right? This is the modern fake. They, they want to palm this off as though it's an ancient. It's not. Go do your research on it, right? And see that uh, vid um, of the invasion of Ethiopia, the fascist Roman, Roman invasion of Ethiopia. Why was that so? Because of this half of the story, this truth right here. Right, so now let's go into this right here. Now there's a couple other pages. We went through it a little more in detail. Right, we went through this a little more in detail. We're gonna show you a couple of images and a couple of these books right here. Right, uh, does that like a white man? They don't like no white man I know. Right, you, you see what I'm saying? This is Constantine. It's all related to Constantine and the finding, right? The finding of the true of the true cross. Right, and this is on this particular site right here. Real. Uh, history WW support the brethren and the ones and ones. It's on Eastern Christianity. So look up the one on Eastern Christianity and you'll find more right there. So we have Constantine. So Constantine was the brother, right? The, when the Roman emperors, when we say Rome, we're speaking of Byzantium, Asia Minor, not Italy, Rome. That's a point as well, right? That's a point as well, right there. All right. And so we have this to show Helena. This is the mother of, see right there, Empress St. Helena, also known as St. Helena Augustus, right, of Constantine. She was the consort of Emperor Constantinus and the mother of Emperor Constantine the Great. She is traditionally credited with what? Finding what we call Mescal, finding the relics of the true cross. Right? And I'm sure a lot had to do with the racial type because we know what Satan's strategy was from the very beginning. We find that in Job, 
uh, chapter 2, verse 4, skin for skin, right? To use racism, yea, um, man will give all that he hath for his life. And this is where the, the racism, right, in the modern world actually comes to a particular head, right? And then here, this is the sister, right? This is the sister of Constantine. Just a couple of, you can see that right there, Orthodox Church, icon of Princess Saint Anastasia, right? Emperor Constantine, the great junior sister. So we've been given a lot of false narratives, right? So once we now have the race correctly, then we'll be able to understand and put into context, right? The Afro-Shemitic links in Ethiopia and the fact that the emperors of uh, Rome and Ethiopia at one time were brethren. And the testimony was the regulation, right? The Ethiopian Hebrew regulation of Christianity that is codified in the Fitta Neges, which is the law of kings, right? This particular document right here, which is, I always wondered why did they make this link with Constantine? Because I believe that Constantine was a white man. You know, I, I believe that, right? And, and, and I said, but... This law is so scriptural, it's biblical. They were pointing, basically, they, they were taking scripture, right, to explain how to govern a society and govern the church and have, have justice and righteousness in a society, a Christian community. This is what this document was about, right? But just like with hip hop or anything else that black people have created, you have hostile takeovers, right? You know, the hostile takeover, like with where they take over a company or corporation. This right here is a beautiful book on, we published this one right here. This is called, let's get this right here, Atheopic, see that A-E connection, A-E-T-H, Prayers, Liturgies and Prayers by Reverend J.M. Rodwell. Right? This is a reprint of the 1864. So we had to go to some old documents, right? Some old documents. Now it was printed in the other Roman, 1548, Right, from an edition uh, by Monka Tesfaz Sion of the Order of Tekla Hymenot. Right, this is where all this connection here and they suppress a lot of the images, right, or giving you a whitewash, right, so you would not be able to know the truth. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. The finding of the true cross. This is a true cross, right? This is the Tau. This is that Hebrew letter that it talks about, that mark, that Tau, right? in the forehead, in the frontal lobe, in the mind, the true cross, the truth, right? According to, according to race and grace. That's why it says, if they say that Yeshua HaMoshiach has not come right in the flesh, this is where the false pseudo um, Gentile Gnosticism, there's a Hebrew Gnosticism, but that's basically the truth, right? That's basically the truth, the spirituality of the truth. Right? So many will look at this and there's maybe no crucifix. The careless Ethiopians now add that white guy from the Roman church, Caesar Bogias, onto this. Some of them do that. That's that apostasy that the Kibbutz Neges kind of alludes to. These are also very interesting to see this Lalabella cross right here. Right? You know, so people would think like, oh, that's like the Kabbalistic tree. All of this came out of, came out of us. Right? You know what I mean? It's a serpent war. Right? You know, the serpent satanic war that's been going on. Anyway, enough on that right there for a moment. Just want to show you this uh, finding of the true cross because that's what um, um, September 27th is. Right? But now in this year, 2014, there's the blood moon signs, the two and the seven. Right? The two and the seven. The Joel chapter two and the seven blessings there that are to be given when we would have such a heavenly sign, right? The blood, the moon turning into blood and the um, sun be darkened. So the moon, blood, and the sun black. Sun black, moon blood. Sun black, moon blood, right? And we're in this tetrad. And these tetrads are like four blood moons and they all occur on Yahweh's Moedim or on Jah's appointed uh, times, right? The appointed times. They're not so-called Jewish feasts. Well, you might learn more about it under the title of so-called Jewish feasts, but they're not Jewish feasts. They're Yahweh's holy days. Once again, this particular document right here, the Ethiopian Tawahedo Church, because this by Archbishop Yisahak gives a true church story. 
they persecuted him for this, for writing this volume as well. He was greatly persecuted. He was one that Haile Selassie the first, the King of Kings, has sent over here to minister to us the true, um, the true Christian faith, right? That Christian faith from that true Black Judeo um, Christian root, right? That root and that truth that goes along with all of these uh, the Black images of uh, the patriarchs, the matriarchs, the people of the Bible and the saints as well. Let's come to this, this is point right here. Again, now it's this document right here that is so very key. We touched on the 93rd and the 113th chapter of this document as well, right? Where it says in the 93rd chapter that the Ethiopians, right? That the, that the, the emperors of Rome and Ethiopia were brothers. And after the time of Constantine, let's show this right here again. After the time of Constantine, let me get this out the way. After the time of Constantine, the Roman church remained in the faith. Here we go right here, zoom in on the real Constantine. This is the real Constantine. This is the faith, right? That, Ethi that, that Rome, Rome, which speaking of Byzantium and Turkey, Asia Minor, continued in the faith for a hundred plus years. I'll get the exact number right now. A lot of information here. The true faith of our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach, right? Until the serpent people, right, you know, rose up and used the, the Canaanites, the other ites, the Europeans, and some of the mixed down people basically to take over, right, and bring in all of this damnable heresies, right? One of the main heresies was the whitewashing of the image of Yeshua HaMoshiach, as all the other pages we showed earlier and might not have the time to go through it, although we would want to, because we want to look at these these icons again, such as this one right here, you know what I mean? Because it's so very um, interesting, you know, how deeply we've been lied to, right? We've been lied to. So the finding of the true cross has much more to it than what many Ethiopians might believe. But still, we have to thank the Almighty for the faithful ones, right? Going back nearly 2,000 years, right? That kept true to the faith of the holy emperors and black Hebrew kings and, 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 and black Hebrew patriarchs and also the mothers of the church, the matriarchs of the church who held to the spirit and the truth and the grace and the truth. Constantine, brothers and sisters, was a black man. I mean, just to put it simply like that, more correctly, a, a, a black Hebrew man. Right? Because there's a Hebrew connection or Ethiopian Hebrew connection as well. And that and, and the facts, the evidence proves documents such as this. Right. So documents such as this. Right. Are provable now. So all these lies that ones and ones has circulated and spread and say, oh, this don't make no sense. The Ethiopians are Hamites, not Shemites. They don't even know the first thing they're talking about. Right? They don't, we don't even know this first. We're not talking about Kushites. We're talking about Shemites. Right? And the links are all here. We've touched on it in other vids. And we're just doing this to do another vid that we can probably put up there first on Mescal. And on how I and I as Rastafari, how we have found right, the true cross of the black Christ. Right? Or of the black Messiah. Right, remember Satan's effort to stop the rise of the black Messiah? Well, how would he do that? One part whitewashing, the other parts flipping up the stories. So when you saw these people as white people, you believed the lies and really didn't investigate. I mean, you went to the liars and the liars basically continued to tell you the lies, but you didn't do your own judicious study of the scripture, judicious study of the evidence. We have, by the grace of Abba Father, Beshem Yeshua, and we share this with you all. Constantine was a black man. So was King James, actually. You know, makes me feel a way about some things I had said, you know, recognizing the truth. But it says that any blasphemy can be forgiven against the Father and the Son, but not against the Holy Spirit. It's because of the Holy Spirit and the Word of God that we were preserved. And, and the Holy Spirit made sure we didn't go too far. And the brothers and sisters that reposted and put out this information, may, may Jah bless the eye. May Yahweh, Beshem Yeshua, bless you and keep you and preserve you, right? In this world and in the world to come. 
This is Wendem Yadin Rasi Adinos Teferi. This is Brother Yadin reporting for the Lion of the Tribe of Judah Society of His Imperial Majesty. And of course, we approve of this message. Shalom Rastafari and a Melkam Meskel. Finding of the True Cross. <laughs>